Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Barakatai hawa, barakatai hawa shai, barakatai hawa, barakatai hawa shai. Kol halalai, Yahweh b'ashim Yahweh shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. It's the defense of our nation and its citizens. Last night, at my direction, the United States military successfully executed a flawless precision strike that killed the number one terrorist anywhere in the world, Qasem Soleimani. Soleimani was plotting imminent and sinister attacks on American diplomats and military personnel, but we caught him in the act and terminated him. Under my leadership, America's policy is unambiguous to terrorists who harm or intend to harm any American. We will find you, we will eliminate you, we will always protect our diplomats, service members, all Americans, and our allies. For years, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and its ruthless Quds Force under Soleimani's leadership has targeted, injured, and murdered hundreds of American civilians and servicemen. The recent attacks on U.S. targets in Iraq including rocket strikes that killed an American and injured four American servicemen very badly, as well as a violent assault on our embassy in Baghdad, were carried out at the direction of Soleimani. Soleimani made the death of innocent people his sick passion, contributing to terrorist plots as far away as New Delhi and London. Today we remember and honor the victims of Soleimani's many atrocities and we take comfort in knowing that his reign of terror is over. Soleimani has been perpetrating acts of terror to destabilize the Middle East for the last 20 years. What the United States did yesterday should have been done long ago. A lot of lives would have been saved. Just recently Soleimani led the brutal repression of protesters in Iran, where more than a thousand innocent civilians were tortured and killed by their own government. We took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war. I have deep respect for the Iranian people. They are a remarkable people with an incredible heritage and unlimited potential. We do not seek regime change. However, the Iranian regime's aggression in the region, including the use of proxy fighters to destabilize its neighbors, must end and it must end now. The future belongs to the people of Iran, those who seek peaceful coexistence and cooperation, not the terrorist warlords who plunder their nation to finance bloodshed abroad. The United States has the best military by far anywhere in the world. We have the best intelligence in the world. If Americans anywhere are threatened, we have all of those targets already fully identified, and I am ready and prepared to take whatever action is necessary. And that in particular refers to Iran. Under my leadership, we have destroyed the ISIS territorial caliphate. And recently, American Special Operations Forces killed the terrorist leader known as al-Baghdadi. The world is a safer place 
without these monsters, America will always pursue the interests of good people, great people, great souls, while seeking peace, harmony, and friendship with all of the nations of the world. Thank you. God bless you. God bless our great military, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 8 Therefore wait ye upon me saith the Lord Yahweh unto the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Isaiah chapter 13 verse 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exhort the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger. Even them that rejoice at my highness, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord Yahweh of hosts mustereth the hosts of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even, even the Lord Yahweh, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. How ye, for the day of the Lord, is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid, pains and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pains as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. This is Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all, among all nations that are at, like as corn is shift in the sheaf, Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Joel chapter 2 verse 20. But I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive them into a land barren and desolate and his face toward the east sea and his hand apart toward the utmost sea and his stink shall come up and his ill savior shall come up because he have done great things. Revelations chapter 18 and 7. 
how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment, torment and sorrow give her, for she say in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, At last, at last, that great city Babylon, a.k.a. America, that mighty city, for in one hour is thou judgment come. <laughs>